you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Let's do let's let's execute the team it's supposed the way it's supposed to be used here. We are going to use Trap Inch Mimikyu as our lead. We're gonna go Trap Inch, we're gonna go Mimikyu. Actually, not Trap Inch. We are going to go Radicate Mimikyu. And then we are going to bring the Trap Inch, and then I think Trevenant is a Pokemon in the back. I think Parasect is just as good, but Trevenant gives us a little bit more survivability. As well as the second Curse Setter. The only problem with this is I have like no way to break anything. That's fine. He said, thanks for talking every through everything you're thinking. Really helps see all the options. Alright, if you want, I can go even more in depth, but I'm just, just trying to give a quick little review of how we're playing through things. So the way we're leading it here is Radicate Mimikyu, so it can let me go for like a first turn Final Gambit into any one of his Pokemon, as well as a Trick Room or a Curse. I can kind of pick and choose which one I want to do. I am going to opt to go for the, uh, the cur sorry, the trick room in this situation. I think I'm actually just gonna get the 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 scissor. Or... See, the thing was, scissor was the one Pokemon I had problem with dealing with here, but Cloyster is the one problem that like I can't stop if it gets going. I don't know anything, so this is already plenty info. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna final gambit the scissor. So remember, our Raticate is holding a choice card. It's gonna use final gambit, which uh, deals your HP damage to the opposing Pokemon and. Uh, Pretty much like my Raticate has 182 HP, it's going to deal 182 damage, and it's going to be able to knock it out. And then I'm just going to set up a Trick Room. I really think he might Shell Smash, and I could take advantage of that next turn. Alright, so he's going Mega Sizzle. Remember, they can do this in this format. That's totally a thing. And if he Bullet Punches my Raticate, I will not be able to KO it with uh, with this move. Alright, cool. Final Gambit comes out. So Final Gambit, being one of the coolest moves in the game, comes into the Scizor slot, gets the knockout, because we have a higher base HP than Scizor does, and uh, I really don't care what the, the Cloyster does. I mean, it could it could Icicle Spear me. Holy Surf! Yeah, that's fine. What this lead does is it, like, it makes them fight a 1v1 versus your Mimikyu. So what you want to do uh, norm most of the time is just leave the Pokemon that can't really threaten the Mimikyu up in this decision we decided to leave a Cloyster, because even if he Shell Smash, he would just be lowering his defenses and letting us roll him over next turn. And like I said, this guy is not using a super competitive team, so we're just trying to show how you can play this team correctly uh, in this scenario. So we're going to send Trap Inch out here. Because we do have the Trick Room, I'm going to try to like kind of steamroll this. Ooh, he sends it as Mimikyu. That's kind of weird. I did not expect to see the Mimikyu this early. Hmm. Trap Inch. Trap Inch, Trap Inch. One of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I think I'm going to protect my Trap Inch, even though I am going to protect the Trap Inch's first turn. It might not be a good idea, but what I'm going to do is put up Curse on the Mimikyu. We're going to Curse the opposing Mimikyu right now, and we're protecting the Trap Inch, because I really think Trap Inch is really big bait for that Cloyster, and I want to waste the Cloyster's time as much as possible. Just for an Icicle Spear up into the Trap Inch, see, that's why we do that. And uh, his Mimikyu is going to be Z-moving uh, my Mimikyu, it looks like, which is not great, because, you know, we're running low on Pokemon, but it is what it is. Never ending nightmares. Yeah, so if he's hitting my Mimikyu, it's probably going to be able to go down. And I am running a full Jolly 252 speed Mimikyu. So, uh, even though I trick roomed, I'm still pretty fast. <sighs> yeah. Oh well. And I, originally, I would have protected with Mimikyu and done something else, but I don't have protect on this Mimikyu slot. So we have to come in with Trevenant here. I think I have to nuke the Cloyster, believe it or not. I really think I have to nuke the Cloyster uh, with a T-Rage and a Horn Leech. I think that's my only real way to get out of this. So we're going to Tech Rage the Cloyster and Horn Leech it. Cloyster just has a ton of defense. And then we're at, we'll have to leave the Mimikyu, the Mimikyu up for a couple turns. So I'm T-Raging first, remember, because Trapinch is like the slowest freaking Pokemon in the world. So we're going to be able to Z move the Cloyster. If this KOs the Cloyster and we get to redirect our Horn Leech into the Mimikyu, you know, that's fine with me, but uh, I really have to check this Cloyster because he's starting to get out of hand. It's not that it's starting to get out of hand, it's that, like, I want to see that last Pokemon slot, and I have a much higher percent chance of, uh, you know, KOing this thing than KOing the Mimikyu. There we go, so Cloyster goes down. 
And let's see what his Mimikyu does. He might just Shadow Claw my Trevenant, which is fine. It would, it's probably going to do like a third, maybe a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more than a third. Alright, what is his next Pokemon? Serena. Alright, so I'm going to probably protect with my Trap Inch. And Horn Leech? The Mimikyu? I do not want to do that. Let me turn off you got on Trick Room. Yeah, I'm going to protect with Trap Inch this turn and then dig next turn. And you may think, why the fuck are you digging? But it's actually super good. Fuck, he's just going to hit my Trevenant with that Mimikyu and I'm going to die. I think this is the play, believe it or not. I think I had a Horn Leech right now. So protecting with Trap Inch. Let's see what he goes for. Horn Leech just to break the disguise. Not much is up, man. We're just playing some battle spot. So we break the disguise. And let's see what the Sarina does. Payback. Yeah, come on, he's payback in my trap my Trevenant. No, I'm a, I'm like dead as fuck. Hey, citrus berry though. Harvest, pretty good. Can we get the harvest? Can we get the harvest? Can we get the harvest? Oh, we play her after my Mimikyu, or my... Hey, we did it! Alright, cool. Well, I mean, we're still technically playing the game. That's good. I think this is the only thing I can do. So we're digging here to avoid damage, and then we're going to go last next turn, so we're like getting two turns worth of avoidance with Dig. You may think, why the fuck are you using Dig? Dig's actually really, really good. Like, don't don't sleep on Dig. It's it's a good move. And I might be able to live through a Shadow Claw. He goes for a Trop Kick, I, and he's going to miss. He goes for a Shadow Claw this turn, and Shadow Claw is probably going to almost KO me. All right, cool. We Hey, we avoided a shit ton of damage, and we got our berry back. Like, I'm, I'm digging this. If we can KO the Mimikyu with Dig... We'll probably win the game. Because I don't know a way... Actually, Serena had payback. So it can still beat us. But I don't think I can beat that Mimikyu with Dig. I'm just going to protect and try to get a second Harvest proc. Yeah, because Harvest has a percent chance of working at the end of the turn. Alright, Trevenant protects. Blocked. And... It's all on how much damage Dig does, you know? And there's no reason for me to try to attack there. Ah, yes, look at that damage. Oh my gosh, dig trap inch. Holy moly. Alright, so what type is this? Sorry, I think it's just the grass, right? Alright. That means I'm useless. If I threw the curse on there, I don't know if I get one shot by trap kick, you know? I do not know. And the thing is, even if I cursed, it would just kill me. I think I'm just going to Horn Leech. It'd give me a couple turns, because Payback doesn't really work like that. So Faint is just the standard attack that I have that would deal damage here. He goes for the Payback, but he's going first, so I don't think he'll KO me. Yeah. Horn Leech isn't, Horn Leech isn't going to do that much either, but, you know, it's going to restore a little bit, and I'm pretty much just doing this to waste turns and try and get back my, uh, my berry. There we go, berry. Harvested one citrus berry. Can we get the double harvest? The double harvest, can we do it? We still have enough health to do it. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to double protect here. Because, like I said, I'm just trying to get my berries back from harvest. Actually, you know what? I might as well just trick room. No, no, no. Fuck it. I'm going to play the correct way. Just that's. I'm just going to play the safe, correct way and maximize the amount of turns that I can get off with Harvest. And let's see if he actually ever mixes up any other attacks and tries to KO the Trap Inch or something. Yeah, he went for the Trap Inch. Trap Inch isn't the threat. If he KOs the Trap Inch, like, fucking please. I could probably get away with cursing here, I think, but I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time. Did a good amount of damage. Faint Trap Inch. I used, like, all of his moves this game. Oh, he has the Teeter Dance. Isn't that random who it hits? Oh, no, that's a confused one. It confused everyone. All right, okay, Teeter Dance is a cool move. 
That, I think that's actually a pretty good shot. Since I'm like spamming protect every other turn, I think it's a good try to try using Teeter Dance to get back into the game. Horn Leech, though, so I get both my attacks off. Pretty good. Hmm. No berry that, that turn either. I'm just going to keep attacking. At this point, uh, I don't need to try to... I think at this point, going for like double protect plays is risky because you could just get confused and... That's not a good play. I get my feints off. Feints the big damage dealer here. Bruh. No, yeah, we're totally using Trap Inch as a good Pokemon. Ah, damages. Damage. Big damage. Bye bye, Trap Inch. Alright, can Trevenant win this game by itself? Alright, one more turn. One more turn. I think I'll be fine. I think I will be fine here. Hey, we get our berry back! Money in the bank. Alright, last one, Leech. No confusion. Break out of it. Show me the money. This goes for a payback. Remember, he is faster than me, so payback's not doing a lot. It's midnight where you are. It is currently 9.18 where I am, so it's not really midnight. It's just a little bit late. We get to use our berry here, and we snap out of the confusion and slam a horn leech into the Serena. So, like I said, this guy didn't have the most competitive team, but we executed the way that you're supposed to play the team for the most part, and uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So, in the next game we're going to do, we're actually going to go into more curse plays, because that time I didn't really have enough time to set up curses. Well, it's not that I didn't have enough time, it's that I could win the game without it, because his team wasn't as competitive. Eradicate Mimikyu looks really, really good here. I don't want to get taunted. So I kind of want to go Parasect instead. Like Parasect Porygon or Parasect Mimikyu. I like Parasect Mimikyu a lot, actually. I'm going to go Parasect Mimikyu. Yeah. Parasect Mimikyu. No Radicate. I do think Radicate's really good. Um... Like, I could still go Raticate. I think Parasect is going to give me more, though. Parasect, Mimikyu... No, let's go Raticate. Team Preview really does look like you don't know what you're doing. Yes, that is... That's that's the play. We'll bring the same four. The only problem here, I think, is the... The Kartana. Kartana is a bit of a problem for this team. So if I see the Kartana, I'm going to eradicate it, like, immediately. That's the play. And remember, this is a meme team. It's not really trying. Like, I, I ain't taking this team to regionals. You know, like, that's not happening. We're just trying to goof around and show people that there's other ways to play the game. And I haven't even gotten into, like, the curse aspects that this team is supposed to do, but th this team's supposed to be able to, like, take apart Trick Room teams. And this guy has potential for Trick Room, but he can also just roll you over with Kartana. Like, if they're going to try and, like, speed me out and, like, you know, rush me down, I'm, I can't do the team the way the team's supposed to go. Huh. Psychic Surge. All right, uh, I am going to... I can see, like, right, right here. Watch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Z-move this Marowak, and I'm going to one-shot his Lele, unless it's Scarfed. I hope it's not Scarfed. But I can get a double KO without Curse, and he's forcing my hand. Uh, this is actually fine. I always want to talk about... I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec, but let's see. Are you... Cool, it's not Scarfed Lele. Um, whenever anyone uh, uses Protect to block a Mimikyu Z-move, I think that's completely fine, because like 9 times out of 10, the little chip damage that you do to them sets up for a Shadow Claw KO, because it's still a super effective move. So I know I've said that a bunch of times, but it is what it is. And I can actually come in with Trap Inch here, and I think make a pretty decent play with like a Protect uh, Trick Room. But like, you forced my hand, it's like, you know, it's like, if you're going to bring that aggressive of a lead against me, the only way to beat it is to, buy, to be aggressive back. Like, I don't have to curse... If I can just beat you. Like, I, I shouldn't have to, you know, go easy on you is what I'm trying to say. So we crit with that. Oh, well. Unlucky him. I think the correct play here is the Trap Inch. Makes it so the Marowak has to stay in. Because remember, his Protect is on cooldown now. Mudsdale comes in. Okay.
know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to protect with Mimikyu and use Earthquake. That would KO the Marowak, I think. Or not the... Yeah, it might KO the Marowak, yeah. And it's, it's going to be very unexpected. A lot of times you don't actually see Mimikyu's carry protect. And I think what he's doing here is doubling up into the Mimikyu. If he's not and he's attacking my Trap Inch, that'd be a good play. But yeah, see the Boomerang is there to break the Disguise and deal chip damage. And every time you see, he doubled up into the Mimikyu. And the Trap Inch Earthquake is going to be coming in hot here. Oh, dude, this is so good. Look at that damage. Holy moly. Who would have thought? And he's going to get the stamina boost, but from here we're just going to curse him. Remember, I don't even need the Trap Inch anymore. He's lost two Pokemon, so he can't switch. So he's pretty much boned. Let's see what the last Pokemon is, though. Is, that, is it that Kartana? Whimsicott. Okay. He can't use priority moves against me, because he set it up himself. But yeah, we're just going to curse the uh, Mudsdale. And do I have to do anything? I mean, eh, might as well just fucking do this. This is just a waste of time. So maybe we'll just got Moonblast. It's going to break that. I think Moonblast is the correct play. They get a special attack drop. Not bad. All right, and we're going to curse the uh, Mudsdale. So Mudsdale is going to be put on a bit of a timer here. It takes half my HP to do it. It's all right. What's Trap Inch base attack? It's actually 100. So like Trap Inch is like the strongest fucking Pokemon in the world. Not really. But it's kind of strong. So I use Dig here. Why not? And remember, you may think, why are you using Dig? Dig's fucking terrible. But this is a curse team. It's made to elongate the turns. And now I can like avoid damage for a while without really having to do anything. Trevenant comes out. He's going to double attack my Trevenant, right? Of course. I think I'm just going to protect with Trevenant for this turn, right? I don't really see a reason why you wouldn't protect with your Trevenant here. Uh, we're taking him out from, from Curse, and next turn, I think I'm faster than Mudsdale with this Trevenant set, and I can just Horn Leech it if I have to. Alright. Moonblast gets blocked. Uh, high Horsepower or Heavy Slam will get blocked. Yep, blocked. Double blocked. And dig. Remember, he already has at least one defense boost, I think. Yeah. But then, he's just going to get KO'd by the curse. Because dig still does, like, crazy amounts of damage. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Good stuff. And then from here, I think all we have to do is throw up a curse onto the Whimsicott and we win. I mean, I might as well just do it like this. Oh, shit, I just fainted it. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. I just fainted it into the psychic terrain. Ha, ah, I'm funny. I think that's pretty funny how dumb I am sometimes. Oh, well. He's sitting the trap inch. See, oh, well. Trap inch was... That was that was stupid. I do that sometimes, guys. I don't actually ever do that anymore with, like, a, like extreme speed, but sometimes you forget faints that good. Oh, well. We fainted the Whimsicott for no reason. And now he's just picking out. Weirdness has now disappeared. Alright, I'm just going to protect with my Trevenant. I'm just going to protect with Trap Inch. Just go for a double protect. I have no reason not to. But yeah, you can see against teams like this, like I have a much easier time uh, setting up the curse and doing plays like that because they're not as aggressive once you take out the major like fast aggro threats Like he didn't bring the Kartana. He brought like the Mudsdale. Ooh, he's going for Encores, huh? That's his play. All right Okay Hey, you got our harvest back we take those I'm gonna try and double protect might as well and I'm going to faint just so he doesn't encore me into protect with well, my trap ages for a fit wall. Curse Citrus Berry Harvest. Yeah, dude, it's good. It's good stuff. Alright, we beat him. See, it's not impossible to beat people.